Hi, I'm Luke. Welcome back to Move3.life. Today we're looking at shoulder mobility and stability. This is an area that many of us suffer with, um, and that's because our daily lives often don't include the dynamic ranges of motion that are necessary to keep healthy and mobile shoulders. So this routine is designed to open up the shoulders and open up the chest and get rid of bits that often get tight and to strengthen at the same time. I've used this routine to rehabilitate my own shoulder when I got impingement and I hope that it's very helpful to you. If you've got any questions, ask below. You will need some equipment, so I highly recommend you buy some bands. You can get them online really cheaply. You'll also need a stick. You can use a broomstick um, or a stick you find in the woods or a bar at the gym. Anything's fine. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna to start today by warming up our shoulders slowly. So we want to do some rolls, lift them up and back and down. This is just to get our tissues moving, waking them up. And then change direction. Now let's extend that into the arm. So lift your arm up and back and down and really extend the fingertips out. If you feel any pain or impingement in your shoulder as you come up, don't go quite so high. Go as high as is comfortable. You can go up to the pain, but don't go into it. Change directions. Okay, and swap arms. <clears throat> and change directions again. Good. Right, now, open up your hands wide, nice and wide, extend the fingertips out away from you as far as possible. Really reach and put some power into it. Then come forwards and extend them out in front of you. Really arch the upper back. And then out wide again. And now just do some gentle pulses here, just to warm up and open up the chest. Good, now we're gonna do some German arm swings. So we lift one hand up to the shoulder and the other one over the top to the other shoulder. And then we just go from side to side. Whilst you're doing this, only go as far as is comfortable. So if that's here, then that's absolutely fine. If it's all the way over, then that's, that's better. Make sure that you're not compromising form by dropping your head down in order to get over. Keep your spine tall and nice and straight and control the swing. It's not about flinging it and getting to uh, a new range. It's about getting into our current range comfortably. Good, right, now we're ready to go into our first move. Scapular rolls. So take your band, have it attached nice and high. Take up the strain as much as is comfortable and externally rotate your arm. Now with your chest facing forwards, roll your shoulder back, down and forwards. Don't let the elbow bend. It's not like we're trying to move our wrists like this. We're trying to roll our scapulas. Nice and slow and controlled. Now, change directions, and roll forwards. Notice I'm not letting my torso twist as I'm doing this. It's just coming from the shoulder blade. Good, now that we've done that, change hands, <clears throat> step back, take up the strain. Now, remember to externally rotate 
the arm, so the palm is facing up, and then with your chest facing forwards, roll back and down and forwards. Control it the whole way through. Keep your core engaged. And now change directions. Really feel like that shoulder blade is gliding around the ribcage. Okay, now we're done with that. <clears throat> we'll move on to a, a band, have it at about waist height for this one. We're gonna do external rotation. So, twist your torso slightly so that you're not gonna be pulling the bands across your stomach. And we want to really focus on having your, your upper arm, your humerus, vertical. And not pinned against your chest like this, but free floating, but controlled. So we want to be able to rotate it on the spot without moving it out to the side as we come open and without letting it roll forwards at the shoulder like this. <clears throat> so you can look at your shoulder and check that it's not rolling forwards as you come in and it's not abducting out. If you, if you find it helpful, you can put your hand there just to feel it. <clears throat> okay, good. Now we'll change sides. <clears throat> Same again, set head nice and high. Shoulders back, scapula pulled in tight to your ribcage, and go. Keep an eye on your form. Make sure your shoulder is not rolled forwards and doing this in a rolled forwards position. Lift it up and back and down. Okay, good. <clears throat> now we're going to do some adduction. So stand a little, little bit away with your arm at 45 degrees and just pull it in to your body. Take up more tension to make sure that it's uh, the right level for you. And again, make sure that as you bring it in, you're not rolling the shoulder forwards. It's got to be completely controlled. Good, now the other side. I like to keep my elbows locked out straight for this, as it then conditions the elbow joints to be strong. If you find that you're getting pain in the elbow whilst doing this, you can bend it slightly. But if there's no pain, then, then you can lock it out. <clears throat> I 
Okay, and now abduction. So we're gonna lift our arm up away from us, just up to 45 degrees. Same thing, make sure that your form is perfect. Don't allow the shoulders to wobble around at all. Good, now change sides. Okay, good. <clears throat> right, now that we're done with that, <clears throat> we're gonna still use these bands. We're gonna lift them out to our sides and open up into a wide fly. Now reach your fingers away from you as far as possible and then come up to the top. Walk away to take up more tension if you need it. <clears throat> Engage your core, make sure that you're not bending your spine. Reach up as high as is comfortable and back, and then just do some small rotations. Feel like these rotations are coming from your shoulder blade. They're not coming from the joint itself. They're coming from right in the scapula. The scapula is sliding around. and then change directions. <clears throat> Good, right, now bring them down to a T. And same thing. Really feel like your hands are pushing out wide. And then the other direction. And then down to the bottom. Make sure your, your arms are externally rotated, shoulders rolled back, and then small circles. And change directions. Good, right, done with the bands. <clears throat> now we're gonna do some shoulder dislocates. So I'm gonna use a stick. Uh, you can use a broom or a bar or you can use the bands if you want. Um, I've weighted mine just to make it a little bit more intense. You don't have to do that. So start, start nice and wide, loose grip, and we're gonna slowly and controlled go up and over and back down. Now this should be a smooth motion if you find that to do this, you're having to twist one shoulder in and back, then you're too narrow and go with a wider grip. 
and go as narrow, narrow as is comfortable for you. Shouldn't be any popping or clicking or grinding, but it should be quite fatiguing. So it's gently opening up that mobility. Last one. Good, okay. <clears throat> We're gonna do some scapular, sh scapular push-ups now. <clears throat> so get into a plank position. Your, part, your fingers can either be facing forwards or outwards. It doesn't matter at this point, just as long as our shoulders are externally rotated out. So elbow pits facing forwards. So if I bend my arms, they'll go back like that. Make sure core's well engaged. Shoulders are depressed, so down away from your ears, and then lower your body down without letting the bum drop, and then back up, and down, up. Make sure you keep your elbows locked out for this, nice and straight. Should be quite fatigued by now. Good, done. If, uh, if that's too difficult for you, then you can do it against the wall just to get the emotion, um, or you can lean against something that's sort of halfway between in order to build up the strength. Now we're just gonna do some bridge rocks. Uh, so I'm sorry, table rocks. Feet together, arms behind you. Roll your shoulders back as far as possible and then lift up as high as you can. We'll hold for five. And then down. And we're just gonna do five more rocks, but at a faster pace. So one, two, three, four, and last one, five. Great, and we're all done. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, do this every day if you need. Um, it'll take a little while, but you'll get there. And uh, if you like this video, then like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.